Hello, Darren here. In this video, I want to talk about Thunkable and Airtable. So there are a few different ways to get uh, data and integrate your database, your Airtable base with Thunkable. Um, but today I want to talk about specifically about one, which is using the Airtable API. And I found uh, that this is the most efficient way as far as from like a data uh, transfer stance, the most efficient way to do things, but it's also the most complex. Um, so what I'm going to do is share a project with you that's in my Remix vault that uh, I'll have linked at the top of the description below. Um, and basically this project is simple uh, in that all it does is you have four options here. You can create something, you can display whatever you just created, you can update what you just created. So right there, it updated this number. I can do that again. And then finally, I can delete that row. And if I put this over here and then come to Airtable, I'll do that again. So create, display, you don't see anything for that. I can update it. So that updates this number, but leaves the row. And then finally, I can delete that row. So I want to go ahead and walk you through uh, the, the project itself, just to kind of give you an idea uh, of how it works. Um, and then you're welcome to go and remix it and copy the blocks for yourself. So the first thing that I should point out is that with, with your Airtable, if you come to help and you go to API documentation and then uh, introduction rate limits, authentication right here, table name, and then retrieve, create, update, delete. So these um, API calls over here, this is like the actual code of what it looks like. I'm basically translating these calls into thunkable blocks. Uh, so if you're working on this yourself, you'll need to update some of my code that I have in there with your uh, API URL, which is this right here. So you would take this, and if we go to the blocks, uh, right up here up top, you'd paste in your, your base API URL. You should also update it under advanced. If you go to the Air API settings, you can update it here. And so that would paste in your Airtable base. And then the second thing you'll need to update to connect Airtable to Thunkable is your API key, which I don't mind showing the API key for this one. Um, so right here, this API key. And so you'll need to paste that API key into here to set up your bear authentication bearer. And I think that is it. So then this should work with your own Airtable database. And here I just have a table with table name, auto ID, a text column, and a number column. So now we have the project all set up and connected to Airtable. So the first thing that we do is we create a record. So I do that on this create button click and I set the URL to the base URL. I'm not passing in any query parameters, but I am passing in a JSON object with fields. And that would be the text and the number. This text is coming from a function called get random text which returns three random letters. And then the number is just a random number. So I'm putting that into a JSON format, and then I'm calling a post on the Airtable API. When that's returned, it's gonna return back to me a record ID, uh, create records, and I'm doing this one. So I'm passing in this, and it's returning to me this. And so I'm saving this record ID, because we'll need it later. Um, and then I can also use this data if I need to. So that's what I do here. And so let's take a look at that again. We'll live test. So I can create a new row and it's giving back to me this record ID. Now the fun one that I think everybody should uh, pay attention to is whenever you want to display data or get data, we can use this query parameter called filter by formula. What this allows you to do is in Airtable, there is a formula uh, field type. And so this is in like an Excel formula, Google Sheet, like a regular spreadsheet formula. So what you can do um, is like 
create a formula. So I can do like an average of my number column. And then I can filter based off like average, like this. So calculation is equal to something or whatever. So any, any type of formula you can put in here, you can pass in through filter by formula. So what I'm doing is a formula where text is equal to the last uh, one I added. So I'm saving the last one I added and then I'm doing text is equal to that. What this allows, and then, yeah, so this says this one is equal to that, but all these other ones are. And so then that formula would just return this row. So this allows me to query all the rows in the table based off some other um, aspect. Um, so it's only returning one row rather than returning everything and then filtering in Thunkable. So the way that looks in Thunkable is base URL. We set in filter by formula. I type in my formula here. I'm not passing in any JSON, so I'll set body to null. And then I call a git. That returns a list of records. If there are records, then I'm displaying that in the label here. So I can look at that. So create a new row. Then I display that row. We see MZN 12. And then over in Airtable, MZN 12. So that's all great. Awesome. So then there is updating a row. So this is pretty common. I want to just update the number and keep the row itself. So great for any type of record you want to update something in. For this, I'm using that record ID that I saved whenever the record was created. We can also get this whenever the record is returned, whenever we're retrieving it. And so here I'm updating the URL to be the base URL plus the record ID. And then I'm passing in the new JSON that I want to replace it with. Um, so right here, I'm actually passing in both the text and the number, but what I can do is actually just get rid of this text and just pass in the number. And so that would patch the number in this row or record ID. So we're gonna test that again. So create and then patch 16, 23, 26. There you go. And last thing you might wanna do is delete. And so the this one's the easiest of all. We can set the URL to the base API URL plus the record ID, no query params, no body. We call delete and it tells us it's deleted. So I'll test that again. So create, display, update, then delete. Create, display, update, delete. And that's about it. So that is how you use the Airtable API. That's how you integrate um, or kind of use that as the bridge between Thunkable and your Airtable base. And so this gets around some of the other um, blocks that Thunkable provides. But for me, it's, it's more efficient. And I really, really like, again, the uh, filter by formula option. Uh, this, is, this is very, very powerful. So if you have any questions, uh, please, please reach out. And again, I'll have a link to my Remix Vault um, at the, in the description of this video. And then you can get access to this project yourself and um, you know, edit the project or see the project, remix it and all that good stuff. So I'll leave it at that. Cheers.